Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup, your go-to source for breaking news and exclusive updates. Today, we're diving into the latest news about President Biden testing positive for COVID-19. Let's get started. On Wednesday, President Biden tested positive for COVID-19, causing him to cancel a speech at a Latino advocacy group event in Las Vegas. Unidos U.S. President Janet Merguia announced his diagnosis on stage after attendees began wondering about Biden's 90-minute delay. Biden had just taped a radio interview with Univision before the positive test was disclosed. The White House quickly confirmed the diagnosis, stating that Biden is vaccinated, boosted, and experiencing mild symptoms. President Biden showed upper respiratory symptoms, including a runny nose and a non-productive cough. According to his physician, Dr. Kevin O'Connor, despite feeling okay during his first event, a COVID-19 test later in the day came back positive. He will be self-isolating in Delaware and will continue to perform his duties remotely. Just before testing positive, Biden was seen greeting Nevadans at a Mexican restaurant, even posing for selfies. This isn't the first time he's faced COVID-19. He previously tested positive in July 2022 and recovered without hospitalization. This diagnosis comes amid a challenging time for Biden politically. After a problematic debate against former President Trump on June 27, where he appeared confused and made puzzling remarks, some Democrats are calling for him to step aside. Biden attributed his debate performance to having a cold, which raises questions about his recent health and public engagements. Interestingly, Trump also contracted COVID-19 back in 2020, highlighting how both presidential candidates have faced the virus. The White House has promised regular updates on Biden's condition as he continues his duties in isolation. This developing story will certainly have more updates, so stay tuned. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to The Red Carpet Reup for more exclusive content and the latest news.